the ODM member of parliament from Sambweni Honorable Suleiman Dori Ramadhani is dead and he will be buried later today Mheshimiwa Dori pamoja na watu wa Msambweni constituency kwa jumla na pia chama cha Uchungwa kwa sababu tumepoteza kiongozi kijana mchanga kijana ambaye was very ambitious kijana ambaye alikuwa na matumaini mingi sana katika uongozi na katika pia kuangalia constituency yake na watu wake kwa jumla tumempoteza it's a big loss it is a cup for all of us lakini kwa sababu ni la Mwenyezi Mungu na nilifaradi kama tunavyoamini sisi sote kama waja wa Mwenyezi Mungu tunasema pole sana tunasema familia Mwenyezi Mungu awapatie nguvu Mwenyezi Mungu awapatie imani na Mwenyezi Mungu awapatie subra katika wakati mgumu kama huo hatuna la kusema madaktari wamejaribu pati yao lakini Mwenyezi Mungu amefanya uamuzi wake kama ilivyo kwa hivyo tusema tu pole sana sote kwa jumla tuombeleze wamemendea ni kuiko sana pasajiuni lakini binadamu sisi kama waislamu tu tunaamini kwa jambo lolote Mwenyezi Mungu anayepanga huwa halina kasoro ala hanina jambo lolote ambalo kwamba lenye ila ila tu na Mungu Mwenyezi Mungu apatie sisi na apatie kambi yake na wakati msembeni subra katika wakati huo but who is Suleiman Dori personally i interacted with Dori very briefly during during the Malindi by election where he was the head of the dreaded ODM vote protection unit but who is Dori? I know many Kenyans, especially those who follow the politics in this country very closely, will remember Dori in 2000 in 2017 during the rerun when you believe government arrested him because the people of msambweni had refused to vote to participate in that vote and they had actually chased away jubilee leaders from campaigning in the region so the leadership of jubilee party at that time arrested suleiman dori i know that's one instance where most people who follow politics keenly will remember him with lazima wale wanaokuja kuleka ulinzi watuishi msisi kama wakazi wa hapa na kama hawakusikia watakiona cha mtemo wa kuni kama hawatatupatia amani sisi tutahakikisha tutafanya maandamano ya amani tutalala kwa barabara tuhakikishe paka amani yetu imerudi iwe sawa sawa wao wanazunguka hapa wanasema jana pale usiku nimekaa na mshenga tunakula nyama jamaa anakuja anasema hati wewe dori umeiba bunduki mimi nimeiba bunduki kweli na kama nimeiba bunduki mbona wanishiki wananiacha mimi naongea ongea hapa waache hii mambo hayo upumbavu bwana sisi si watu wa pumbavu sisi tunaoishi msambweni ni watu na heshima zetu na wao kama leo tumewaambia hawatokoma kusumbua watu wa kutoka eneo bunge na msambweni lote kwa jumla sisi tutapambana na wao waache wale watu waliowashika jana kule mabungo waache kusumbua watu wa bongo sub location waache wale vijana wa kuna amsa waache kuja hapa masai kusumbua wafanyi biashara usiku tuko pamoja ndio tuko pamoja ndio tupiga kura tupigi tupiga kura tupigi tupiga kura tupigi mkono wa tupigi kura kwa wapi asante sana mungu awabariki but majority of people will also remember Suleiman Dori after the 2017 election because we remember cost was purely odium and after 20 after the handshake between Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga Dori entered into working relationship with William Samoei Ruto together with Aisha Jomwa and when odium threatened to expel them from the party 
mimi kujiuzulu ni watu wa Msambweni wanikataa. Lakini watu wa Msambweni hawajanikataa. Kwa hivyo kujiuzulu hilo si swala la kujadiliwa kwa sababu chama ndio imenikataa. Narudia tena watu wa Msambweni mimi hawajanikataa. Kwa hivyo zile taratibu zao mimi nasema naziunga mkono kwa sababu mimi ni Muislamu kamili. Kinachopitia mikononi kwangu mimi nakikubali. Uweze kujua wao wanasema wanikataa kwa chama maybe it's a blessing to me kuna kitu Mungu amenipangia kitu nzuri zaidi mbele mm. eh, kwa hiyo hilo si suala ambalo mm. li kwamba mimi linishtue kiasi cha kwamba nipoteze ule uaminifu ambao watu wa Msambweni wameniamini ni semi nitajiuzulu mimi sitojiuzulu watu wa Msambweni ndio wao wakinikataa nitasema nimejiuzulu mimi nataka kushukuru chama cha ODM ile kamati yote ya NGC ambayo jana walikuwa na kongamano kongamano lile ambalo lilisikiza maombi yangu kwa niaba ya watu wa Msambweni na wakachukua fursa ile ya kuniweka mimi kiongozi wenu wa Msambweni kwa huru kwa shukurani zaidi kwa pati leader wa chama kile ambaye ni mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga kuchukua wakati na kuona umuhimu wa wananchi wa Msambweni wa kwale kuona yeye ni mzalendo wa kuleta amani na kuona vipi atawasahazisha masuala ya, ya uongozi kwa hivyo hiyo ni shukurani yangu kubwa na mimi nataka niwahakikishie wa Kenya na wananchi wa Msambweni kama nilivyozungumza mwanzo na nyuma ya kwamba mimi bado ni mwanachama wa ODM na nitabakia kuwa mwanachama wa ODM na nitafanya kazi ndani ya chama cha ODM kuhakikisha nimeleta maendeleo katika eneo langu bunge la Msambweni na mimi nina imani ya kwamba sio uko mavu wangu wa siasa ama kwamba mimi ni mwanasiasa bora lakini ni uwezo wake Mungu ndo ameleta matokeo ya kwamba hii nuru na, uzu, na utulivu ukatokea kwa hivyo sisi tushukuru Mungu sana kisha tushukuru chama tushukuru Raila Amolo Odinga tushukuru wale wanakamati wa chama na mimi nawaambia tuko tayari kufanya kazi na kila mtu anafanya makosa na makosa tunayanapofanywa ni lazima watu wasameane hii nchi inapochagua viongozi viongozi wana malengo na malengo ni kuhakikisha ni yale ambao wameahidi kwa wananchi wameyatimiza kwa hivyo tuko tayari tufanye kazi na chama chetu cha ODM na tuko tayari kufanya kazi na serikali kwa niamani ya watu wetu wa Msambweni kupata maendeleo hiyo ndiyo kitu muhimu tutaendelea kufanya kazi na serikali. Kwa hiyo wananchi wa Msambweni, mimi nataka kuambia vile niliwaambia mwanzo. Ya kwamba watu wa siasa imeisha. Tufanyeni kazi. Na mumeona Mungu ametujibu ya kwamba siasa imeisha, kiongozi wenu atakuwa huru kufanya kazi na nyinyi. Kwa hivyo ile joto iko. Mungu ameimaliza ni sisi jukumu letu kufanya kazi pamoja but who is Suleiman Dori Suleiman Dori was born in 19, 1997 and he comes from a very poor background Suleiman Dori and the family were involved in some accident when he was only 12 years and everybody in that vehicle was he was injured but Suleiman Dori got out of that vehicle without any injury and the father the mother had a rib injury which confined her to wheelchair from that moment so Suleiman Dori struggled with his education and after his class 8 Suleiman Dori was uh, was to join uh, wa high school in fact he joined wa high school up to form 3 but because he could not afford school fee Suleiman Dori had to walk like 20 kilometers every single day because he could not afford the boarding fee and one of the relatives had matatu plying the route so occasionally when he was lucky he would get lift but on a days he was not lucky he would just walk then because of that he was forced out of school dropped out then later on 
he went and did his form four again. That was in 1998. In which in, in Tudor. Tudor, I think, high school. Then from there, he started hustling like any other person. In 2001, he went to Nairobi to start struggling with life. And he raised some money. He raised some money. Then he used some of those money to enroll for an IT course. And then after that, he's now started selling phones, repairing phones. Then within no time, he had raised enough money to go now to college. And that's how he ended up doing diploma in community development. And the works, the, the work he did as a community development expert, especially in, uh, in his area, is what motivated him to become, to contest for the MP. Because the people liked him, people wanted him to, to contest. And that's how he joined politics. And I know most people have, have always believed, especially within ODM circles, that he's a relative of Hassan Yoho. And that's why he won the seat. I don't know how true that is. But that's the brief history of Suleiman Dori. He was first elected in 2013. And again, he was re-elected in 2017. He was planning to contest for the governorship of Kwale in 2022 on ODM ticket. So that's the brief history. May the family have comfort during this time.